My name's David McLennan, um, and uh, I'm sorry to have to admit that I've worked in the theatre for about 40 years. There are some compensations of getting a bit older and that you have a fat address book, so there's a lot of people you can ask to come and work with you. Um, before I worked here at Oran Moore, I worked with uh, Wildcat Stage Productions, which was a music theatre touring company, and before that with 784 Scotland. And uh, I've been involved in one or two things in Glasgow, like setting up Mayfest and the Clyde Theatre in Clyde Bank. Um, and I've been very fortunate in my work and life in the theatre, but never more so than here. This has become the real love of my life, and I, I think a play pie and a pint is just such good fun. I think one of the things that I like best about a play of pie and a pint is its complete informality. You come along at lunchtime, you walk in off the street, you come into a bar and uh, you get your ticket and you go downstairs into what was the crypt and you sit at trestle tables and you know with friends or with people you don't know and you get chatting, you have a pie and you've got a choice, you're going to have meat or veg, uh, you can have a drink and enjoy the play. So it's not something that's stuck away in a high shelf, it's just part of life and uh, it doesn't take a big part of your life away from you. You don't feel afterwards, I'd like those two hours of my life back. Um, you can do it at lunchtime, you can do it in a working day and um, even if the play you see is perhaps not your favourite, well you know there's another one on next week. So. I think cheap and cheerful and accessible are, are very important aspects of a play of pie and a pint. I got talking to Colin Beatty before he opened Oran Moore and asked him what it was he wanted to do with the place and, and he told me, very interestingly I thought, that he wanted it to be like Mayfest the whole year round. And that's really what it's turned out to be. I'd been over in Dublin at the Bewley's Cafe Lunchtime Theatre there and I was very fired up about it. And I asked Colin if he'd like to have uh, a lunchtime theatre here at Oran Moor. And uh, typical of the man, he immediately said yes. So we started in the autumn of that year and we've been going five years now. And since then we've done mm, 170 odd plays. It's been great fun because it's been an opportunity to offer a platform for writers of every kind. We've had the most experienced and well-known writers, but we've also had complete beginners. So we've had writers like Peter McDougall, or Willie McIlvany, Liz Lockhead, Denise Mina, Louise Welsh and so on. But we've also had young writers who've never had plays performed and who've gone on to make a bit of a name for themselves elsewhere, like Daniel Jackson and Kieran Lynn and, and others. We try and have as much variety as possible. We have comedies, which are sometimes light, sometimes serious. We have uh, tragedies, historical plays, very contemporary things, sometimes things that are quite political. We do panto, of course. And um, we're trying to keep the audience surprised. And in fact, one of the most common things people say when they come is, what's on this week? So I think people come for the event as much as for the individual play. And we also have a huge variety of performers, uh, again, from the most experienced and well-known players like Robbie Coltrane, Elaine C. Smith, David Heyman, Dave Anderson, Juliet Cadzo and others, and to some new young actors straight out of drama school. So it's a, it's a showcase for all kinds of performers. One of the nice things about a play of Pine and Pine over the years is that a lot of the plays have gone on to have other lives elsewhere. Quite a few have been recorded, for example, on BBC Radio 4. They've gone to festivals like Edinburgh and Belfast. We've had plays performed in Dublin and London and even in Uppsala in Swedish and in Pamplona in Spanish. And we're now beginning to collaborate with a lot of other theatres like the Traverse in Edinburgh that we do seasons with like Payne's Plough in London, a new young company called Grayscale in London who are doing very exciting new work. They're coming up in the spring to do a couple of plays. Um, so there's a lot of people contributing to uh, the work here at Play Pine and also a lot of the plays going on to be seen elsewhere and that's very gratifying.